Now we're going to look at bootstrapping confidence intervals with means. Proportions and means are a little bit different. Proportions summarize categorical data. So for example, the question we asked earlier, what proportion of Americans think Munchkin is cuter? So we're looking at what proportion would say yes to Munchkin would choose that option out of the two possible options in categorical data. Now means, on the other hand, are used to summarize a list of numbers, quantitative data. So for example, what is the average weight of a seven-week-old golden doodle puppy? And you would usually want to restrict your area to not say all of them, but say in a certain country or a certain state or a certain region, whatever it might be. So let's go back to that question. Average weight of seven-week-old standard golden doodle puppies in the United States. Here we have a few golden doodles. Uh, this is Nitro and Surly and Kaya. And they weigh in at 7.1, 6.8, and 7.2 pounds. If you were to take a survey of a whole bunch of them, let's say you got uh, an SRS, a simple random sample of the seven-week-old golden doodle puppies, and you found 25 of them. Here's your 25 golden doodle puppies and their weights and it comes out if you put them all in your calculator 70 or 7.1 pounds is the mean weight there's no super super crazy outliers or extreme skew that we're worried about here so we're just looking for a standard mean a standard average we're going to apply that bootstrapping technique again because we want to know is this 7.1 a good enough estimate? Are we just going to say, oh, it is 7.1 exactly? Well, no, we, we only have a sample, so we can't do that. We're not going to say, oh, well, we don't know. We only took a sample because your sample does have valid data in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this uh, sample of 25 and make it a new bootstrap population. And we're going to randomly choose another sample of 25. So let's say we select that puppy and that puppy that one, that one, and we do this 25 times. And what we're doing here is sometimes we're going to end up with repeats. So just like when we sampled before, uh, repeated from the proportions from the people who already picked one of the two animals, the kitty or the puppy, here we're randomly sampling the population. And if you can see from my mouse clicks, this doesn't look particularly random, uh, but let's imagine that it is. And so I fill this with 25 data values. And once I have my 25 in there, I find the average. And then I repeat this thousands and thousands and thousands of times. Now, if you had to do this with paper or with your mouse clicks, it would either give you a massive headache or give you really terrible data. So what we're going to do is let the computer do its job at being good at being random. I'm going to pop back over to stat key, and this time I'm looking at confidence intervals for means. And so I, t I copied and pasted in all of my weights of my puppies, and I'm going to generate a bootstrap sample. I'm going to randomly draw from that super population that was copied and pasted from my sample. And it looks like here in my bootstrap sample, even though my original mean was really 7.096, almost 7.1, uh, I ended up getting a few on the higher side. I got an 8.5 pound puppy and three 8.3 pound puppies uh, along with a handful in the middle here and this little one at 5.3 and those bigger ones here uh, and a lack of some of the small ones here brought up my average to 7.276 so in my resample I got a higher average than I did in my original let's do it again wow this time I got a lot higher 7.464 compared to my original do it again exactly seven Okay, I got a little bit less. And you continue to repeat this. Let's go a little faster. We go do 100 at a time. Let's cut to the chase and do a few thousand. Well, every resample is going to look a little bit different, but by the time you get a few thousand of these, you start to see that clear pattern emerge. Most of them are going to end up in the middle, close to our original average, 7.0. 0.95, that's almost exactly what our sample average was. And if we do this enough time, it will end up converging to be exactly that. But the interesting part, the part that we are really looking for is, how wide does it go out when we look at the middle 95%? Well, the middle 95% on the low end, 
is six points, uh, almost eight pounds, and on the high end is almost uh, seven point four pounds. And you can see if we generate more samples, these numbers are not really going to change a whole lot. They might get a little bit more precise, but for the most part, it's going to settle in on these values here. And 95% of our random resamples end up between these numbers. So let's go back to what we were looking at a second ago. Instead of just saying our best guess is 7.1 pounds, we're going to say that we are 95% confident because that was the uh, proportion here in the middle, the 95% in the middle, uh, that it's between 6.8 and 7.4 pounds. And in context, let's phrase it with the uh, golden doodles again, we're 95% confident that the average weight, that's the thing, the variable we're measuring, is the average weight of a standard golden doodle puppy at seven weeks old, so we're very specific, and I didn't even mention in the United States, but we're being as specific as possible here uh, about what we're measuring is between 6.8 and 7.4 pounds. So that range, now we can say, I know what I expect my puppy to be. I know what the average should be. The average is going to be somewhere in this range. So even though we don't know a whole population, that doesn't mean that we can't make a good guess with a small amount of data we can get pretty precise on exactly what we're looking at when we're talking about averages.